there, it's your favorite mental health physician, advocate, and coach. Today on Finding Optimal Awareness with Dr. May, I'll be speaking on coping skills that work like magic. If you encounter a stressful situation or a major disappointment, how do you react? Let me, ask, let me answer myself. Hmm. I'll feel down and out, but I will not allow it to take me down. Because stressful situations, major disappointments, they are part of life. And do they happen? Yes. Is it because you're a bad person? No. But that is what life is all about. You might not think about it, but your ability to cope with challenges and emotions affects the quality of your life and your happiness. These skills are called coping skills, and they contribute to many aspects of our life and behavior. If your methods of coping with disappointment or challenges are not ideal or realistic, you can change them and develop healthy skills that can contribute to a healthier life. I'm laying emphasis on healthy skills because sometimes you can have unhealthy skills. And when you develop unhealthy skills, they contribute to an unhealthy life. When you are feeling stressed, it is important to deal with it in healthy ways. And we're going to discuss some of the ways you can develop these healthy skills for your healthier life. Number one, exercising in response to stress is one healthy response. When you exercise, you are helping your body to metabolize your stress hormones, which are the cortisol. So you feel more relaxed. And exercise will boost your feel-good hormones, which are the endorphins. They make you feel less stressed, less anxious, less fearful. Number two, try some holistic techniques to teach your body to sleep through the night. Sometimes when you feel so stressed and you are going through major disappointment, for example, you've been served breakfast in your current relationship, it's difficult to sleep at night. I will tell you that. It is difficult. Nobody should tell you anything differently. Because that's a major disappointment where you have invested your time, energy, resources, and emotions into. So it's important that you develop and teach your body how to sleep better. With this, example you can use is light aromatherapy. Make sure the lights are off from your phone, your tablet, your TV. Sleep in a dark room or a dim light room. Candles and diffusers are also good. The reason why that dark or dim light room is important is that it will help you produce faster the melatonin, which is the hormone that, is, that aids better sleep. Number three, relaxation techniques. They are another healthy coping mechanism that can help you to deal with stress. Some people find the use of self-empowering mantras, mantras like, I am talented or I deserve this job to be helpful while others find stress relief in meditation. Number four, mindfulness is another helpful technique that can help you to live in the present. Because when you have gone through a major disappointment, we're not saying sweep it under the or don't guilt trip yourself about what has happened. And you cannot be planning for your future too much because or start anticipating what will happen for the future be anxious. Being in the present is very important. Mindfulness involves changing the way that you think and reframing the negative thoughts. It can help you to live in the present and better process and deal with the sources of your stress. And of course, a better futuristic plan. Coping mechanisms are not just important in dealing with stress. They are necessary to deal with any negative experience. Pick what works for you and stay committed to it. Until next time, remember, it's a bad day, not a bad life. Live intentionally.